when will Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, when can we resell things for the Chinese people? We have the product almost ready, so, so tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs>Here we've got an example of a hand tap of the future. So if you have a screw and you want to attach it to something, you need a thread. So you need to put a thread on your hole. So to make it, you need a tool like this one. But those things are usually quite heavy and we can make it light, which is a big thing. But what we have here, it is actually quite amazing. Uh, first uh, world produced uh, tap. Well, it's not finished yet, but it is printed and that's the hardest part. This one would cost around thousand dollars to print, so it would be a lot. It is printed of stainless steel, the, the normal tool steel, and has incorporated inside some internal cooling channels. You can see some holes on the sides, and these are cooling channels. And the turmer is patent owners. Uh, so the only thing now we have to do is just take it away, grind it, and test it. So we will of course update you about the tests, but we are very excited because after, after a few years of, of thinking how to do it, we finally did it. Those ones would cost the same as, as the normal machine tabs, so they wouldn't be more expensive and in the future we expect them to be cheaper. The more global it gets, the cheaper it will become. So eventually those tabs will, will take over the market and will be cheaper than the conventional make ones. Are we coming to a future where we can just 3D print whatever we need, or do we still need stock? Yeah, if there is 3D printing motor, then it would be better if you print it yourself. If you need, you just produce more and it takes less days than you transport it from somewhere else to your place. Produce, make, reuse! You guys love that, right? We love, we love that. that. Why my generation, we don't think about it. We think about Ferrari cars and Mercedes cars. Can you do it better? We can make localized, sustainable production on demand. I know because I'm like the old school part of the business that when we produce these normal taps, not this one, but the normal taps, they make 3000 holes. Like the best in the business, they do 3000 holes and we have to change it. Could we do... Yes, this is actually why we do this internal cooling system. Because the internal cooling system is something that is not available with conventional manufacturing. So this is not only that we can produce these things locally on demand, just, but we can also just say yes, incorporate yes, Eric, new features, new things, and those tabs will definitely last much longer than conventional ones. So they will be cheaper, they will last longer, and they will be produced locally. So I, I, think, I think if this was Top Gear, I would be Jeremy Clarkson, and he would definitely be James May. I don't have any idea what he's saying. Did you just say yes? I said more or less yes, I agreed to. So we can do... Better. We, so the tools can last longer? Yes. Shorter production time, less <laughs> material use, longer tool life, thumbs up. This is like a revolution. Is this a revolution? Uh, we don't have any French people, but yeah. It's a revolution. Yellow vest. <laughs> I want to restart Danish manufacturing industry, production on a Nordic level, from Helsinki to Copenhagen. How do we do this? Is 3D print a oh, big part of this? 3D print, yes, because we can do things locally and uh, the, the price is the same for everyone, so there will be no difference if we print it in China or if we print it in, in Denmark, because we will use the same printer. When an engineer says something is bigger, it's crazy, then it's really big. <laughs> uh, right now we're going to have cake, but tomorrow we'll take over the world. Yes, that's the plan. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.